what's going on ladies and gentlemen welcome back to the channel today we're gonna do a full shooting session and then we're gonna do a full body workout after uh, today's the fifth day of training it's actually been a pretty difficult week uh, we've done a lot of a lot of gym work a lot of ball work and it's actually been re really tough on the legs today we're just gonna do full shooting and then a full body workout since we've already done upper body and a lower body workout I just show you guys my meals and I'll continue showing you guys my meals along the day um, and I'll continue guys taking you guys along the journey of today I guess so right now we're gonna go get Marcus, and then we're gonna get to the pitch and get this training session going. See you then. Yo, yo, hey, there's the lad. Oh, that's some top of the line footage. How you been, lad? Yeah, I've been good. Training hard, I had to come back from Germany, but probably gonna go back soon. And uh, yeah, let's get this session. Yeah, let's go. Please, allow me to show you something. Perfectly pH water, 7.2 pH. Not perfect, but almost there, almost perfect. Right, so you guys just saw a clip of our training session this week. I had done three workouts, so I did uh, upper body, lower body, and I did a full body workout. I'm only gonna show you guys a full body workout because it's the only one that we recorded. I'm not sure what Marcus did. He might've done a different week. I'm not sure. Sometimes we don't work out together, so uh, sometimes our, our workout plans don't matter or are aligned, so we don't end up working together. But this week, I think we might've worked out every day together. I'm not 100% sure. So going into a full body workout after a lower body and an upper body workout, uh, and, and also a lot of hard training sessions, um, and we had a, I think two team sessions this week, um, because the team, there, there are teams that have started backup training, so we're training with uh, with a team. It's not the highest level of football, but at least we're getting to train with a team, so take the positives out of that. It's not low level, but it's also not that high. So yeah. things to keep in mind when you're doing a full body workout is that you want to keep it uh, shorter and tense and uh, hit as many muscles as you can in that one workout. So what we did is we did uh, four circuits. They incorporated a, a lot of different muscle groups. They, they were very athletic workouts as well. Actually a pretty hard workout. I don't know if you guys can tell in the videos that I'm going to show you. I was dead. I was absolutely done. I was ready to stop at every single rep. So yeah, it wasn't fun per se, but got through it. Um, and probably came out a better player. So I'm gonna run you guys through the workout right now. So uh, we started with some hanging leg raises. The hanging leg raises are good for the core. Uh, it's actually a very hard exercise. I'm not that good at it, but uh, Marcus, as you can see, is doing a pretty good job of 
just getting his legs as high as he can and flexing when he's coming down as hard as he can. And on this next one, it's just a squat with an arm extension at the end. Um, this this workout is actually very good uh, for athletes because it's a very athletic workout. You're using most of your body in this workout. It's very important for footballers to do workouts that um, you use all your whole body with, explosive workouts and all that. And so the next one is a back extension with a row at the very top. Uh, he actually got this one from Athlean X. Uh, this is a, again a compound exercise that's using a lot of different muscles. He did a pretty good job of it again, just uh, getting his back as high as he can and flexing his upper back as well. And then for the final exercise of this circuit, it's a one-arm bench press uh, laying down on the ground. We didn't have a bench, so we just used it like this. Uh, this is actually very good for the shoulders. It's good for the posture and everything. Yeah, that was a good exercise as well. So that was the first circuit, guys. After the circuit, honestly, I was pretty dead. So I was hoping I was gonna get a second wind so that I could finish the workout because at this point I was pretty tired. So for the second circuit, started with uh, one leg side raises. Um, so this is a very good workout for footballers as well because it incorporates your balance and it also works on your shoulders. Um, so for this workout, we did uh, five on the left leg and then switched to five on the right leg. Uh, actually a pretty difficult workout because you're having to hold your balance while also having to lift the weight. Then for the second exercise of this circuit, we went into some push-ups. So the push-ups, we, we did about 35. We were going for 35 at least. I think for the first one, I got about 35. And then for the second one, I think I might have gotten about 25. And then for the third set, I think maybe 20. Your chest gets very depleted uh, throughout the push-ups. So it's actually very difficult to keep that good technique. As you can tell, I'm, sometimes I'm not going all the way down um, because I'm so fatigued. Then we moved into some hamstring curls. So we did 12 of these. Uh, these are actually very good for football as well, works on that hamstring strength while also working on the balance. Uh, so you're moving that ball back and forth and squeezing as much as you can at the top and trying to get your hip as high as you possibly can w without overextending your back. So very good exercise for footballers. I'm sure you guys have seen a lot of pro players do this one before. It's very popular. The next one, Marcus made up some type of uh, core circuit. So for the first one, as you guys can tell here, is uh, roll-ups. So the roll-ups, um, they're very good for the core. Um, this whole circuit is just core work, so um, it's also meant to get the, uh, the sweat going as well. This one actually made me sweat a lot. I don't know, maybe it's just because the gym is very hot, but it made me sweat uh, more than usual. Uh, the Russian twists, I mean, it's kind of straightforward. You guys have seen this before. It's just getting that core uh, working and getting that balance as well. Then uh, it moves into some knee tuck crunches. Uh, these are, we did 20 of these. These are actually very difficult, as you can probably see I'm struggling with these. Um, not because I have a, a weak core, but um, because it's actually a very uh, difficult exercise and I was already trained at this point. The technique kind of went out the window at one point, but still pushed through it and got, got to 20. So for the next one, we did Supermans, uh, 20 Supermans. Uh, these, again, are also very self-explanatory. You guys have seen these ones before. Then for the last one is a one minute plank. Uh, again, this is very self-explanatory. One tip for you guys for the planks is uh, when you're doing a plank, try not to keep your arms like this because what you're doing is you're rotating your back inwards and it's very bad for your posture. So if you can keep your arms like this and you can keep your back straight, it's going to be much better for you in the future. It's going to uh, be much healthier for your shoulders uh, and have a better posture overall, which is very important again. All right, third circuit. Okay. Started with some pull-ups. Uh, pull-ups are a very hard exercise. I'm sure you guys have tried these before. I'm trying to do them more consistently so that you can build a bigger back because it's very important for football. And then we moved into this exercise. Having a hard time remembering what, what it's called. Yeah, you basically just go down and then you lift that weight and you uh, move your shoulders back as much as you can. It's meant to be for posture. Uh, try to get those shoulders as straight as possible. Try to get a, the best posture you can possibly get so you can get the best physique you can possibly get. Then we moved into some box jumps, some one-legged box jumps. So basically you jump up with one leg, jump to the side with uh, with that same leg, and then jump up again on the box. Um, it's not that, that complicated, but it's very good for footballers. You need to be very comfortable landing and uh, just very comfortable with your, with your body when you're moving on the pitch. And also when you're doing this exercise, what you want to do is you want to land as quiet as you possibly can so that you can build that agility, build those like small, small muscles that just help you land as, as quiet and as soft as possible so you can explode. Then we moved into some type of makeshift TRX row. So at our gym, we don't actually have a TRX row. Uh, so we had we just improvised. So we just took a bar and we just uh, pulled ourselves up on it. 15 was the goal of these. I think I got 15 all three times, but it's actually a very difficult exercise, this one. A lot of pros you see doing this with the TRX row because it builds muscle in your back and it's using your body weight. So it's actually a very good exercise, the TRX rows. If you haven't tried that one, I definitely recommend doing that one. I remember when I first started doing TRX rows, I got back on the pull-up bar and it felt 10 times easier to do a pull-up just because I was doing these TRX rows because it just works it out from a different angle. So it's a very good exercise. All right, last circuit. So first exercise of the last circuit is these uh, pull-up parts. Again, very good for posture. The rear delts. 
they were sore after this. If you guys want to give this a go, I recommend starting with low weight if you haven't done it before, because this one is actually a very difficult workout to uh, to get down. Then we went into some dips. Dips, I am not good at at all. Uh, I think the first time I started doing dips was about maybe three months ago. I started very late doing dips. I don't know why, I just didn't think that this workout was gonna help me. I should be doing every body weight workout that I could possibly do, um, because I'm a footballer. For some reason, I neglected this one, and uh, I'm paying for it now, I guess. I think I barely got six there. Yeah, I guess we'll keep improving those for sure. Then we move into the second last exercise of this uh, workout, some back lunges. It works on your balance, it works on your explosion, um, and it works on just a lot of aspects of, uh, of a footballer's physique. I actually really like this workout. Um, I think it's very challenging. For sure, give it a go if you haven't yet. Then we move to the very last exercise of this workout. Uh, so just to remind you guys again, we did do three sets of, every, of each of these circuits. I'm only showing you guys one set, um, but we did do three of each of them. Table chest uh, extension. Um, this one is very difficult because it's single arm. Uh, it's definitely more difficult than the, than the double arm, which is why I'm doing a pretty low weight. This is uh, not the most athletic workout. I mean, you are working your core and your chest um, while doing this, but it's mostly just to build that chest muscle. So yeah, that was the workout, guys. Just a full body exercise. It's just to deplete all the muscles. It's a great way to end the week. Just pushing the limit, pushing the limit, pushing the limit. Obviously, don't push the limit to the point where you get injured. There's a lot of people who preach push the limit, push the limit, push the limit. Uh, but you got to figure out what that means for you. When I'm in the middle of those exercises. Instead of thinking, oh my God, I'm going to die, I'm going to die. I'm just thinking, uh, what is the next limit that I can reach? How far can I push myself today? This is a new, a new boundary that I'm reaching that I haven't reached before. Instead of thinking of those negative thoughts, think positive thoughts. How far can you push yourself? How much energy can you exert that you haven't exerted before? I heard a quote from a guy called Ross Edgley. He's an athlete who swam around the entirety of the UK. It's actually a great documentary. You guys should give it a watch. It's on the Red Bull channel on YouTube. So his quote was, when a lot of people, when they think that they're pushing their body to 100%, they're not actually pushing their body to 100%. They just think they are. I don't know if you guys have ever been in a situation where you're working out or you're doing something and you feel like you can't go any longer and you feel like this is your 100%. And then maybe somebody that you respect or a cute girl or something walks in and you start going harder. It's like you got that second wind that has made you go way harder than you were going before which means that before you weren't even at a hundred percent you might have been at 50 because now you're going double as hard as you were going before well, that quote really stuck with me when i heard that and i try to take that quote into into everyday life and just try to push that limit and find new boundaries of yourself always good to push those boundaries you know so that's the video guys thank you so much for watching it's been good chatting to you guys do a football out i'll see you guys next time new video coming out soon grinding keep working hard and we'll hopefully we'll all reach our dreams